My process is as much about taking away color as putting on color. The strongest influences in my work are life, death, and rebirth. Especially death. Not from a negative standpoint, but from a positive standpoint. Dying to yourself so you can be open to the spirit, dying to the material so you can be open to the expanse. Dying to your prejudices so you can be open to the world. Death, life, resurrection. The same thing as we have with the seasons. My paintings are what I call generational paintings. That we really aren't who we are. We are a conglomeration of the past. Whatever my mind can conceive to manipulate the color and manipulate the spirit of the painting, that's what I use. Air, water, oceans, run it over with a car, hit it with a belt sander, scrape it with a ice pick, take a feather and do something with it, fingernails, anything you want. It's manipulation of the paint to get the spirit of the painting. I work on 20 or 30 canvases at a time because of the generational aspect of my work. There's a lot of Zen in my work. There's a lot of Eastern religion. There's joy and sorrow. There's beginning and end. But there's always a middle and there's a context. I've always wanted to paint all my life. I was told a number of years ago by the doctors that I had a probably terminal illness and I would be dead in three to five years. So it made me review my life and I had accomplished everything that I ever set out to do except to be very, very um, responsive to my painting and to my art career. So. I said to my wife, if I ever beat this, I am going to put all of my effort on being a painter. But luckily, the physicians were wrong. I went to Mayo's, and uh, they told me that you, it was a misdiagnosis. They said the only thing that was going to kill you in your life is stress. I feel that within each individual, is the answer to any question or any problems that they have. Therefore, I work out my questions and problems and try to, to bring forward the spirit of an answer through the painting. Why it's so difficult for me to create a painting because I'm trying to create a thought and an idea and put it into a, a context with physical form. Color is very important to me, extremely important. Came to the conclusion that color was my friend and that nothing that color could do could hurt me and nothing that I could do to color could hurt it. I do a lot of feeling of my work. I'm, I'm in contact with the paint and with the materials at all times. I touch it, I feel it, I experience it. The paint and the material and, and, and myself are one during the process. I usually feel that joy counterbalances sorrow, sorrow, but I feel sorrow is at night when you're asleep. 
Joy is when you're alive. I have a thing, if it ain't fun, the hell with it. Because in, in the unhappy powers, there are happy powers. They only have to be looked at the other side of the door. So, but you have to have both sides. You can't have one without the other. I hope that we are all one, whether it be European or Asian or um, American, because we all come from the one power source. And within us is the spirit of truth, and it's all pure in everyone all around the world. How we manifest it is different. Again, it's, it's the sopping up of images, of color, of form, of ideas throughout the whole world and then synthesizing that through myself, who I, who I am and who they are.